Hi, my rays of light, and welcome back to my channel. This is Psychic Medium Raymond Guzman, and as always, I am trying to bring you readings that you have all requested. So thank you for my followers, for my rays of light, for those new subscribers that are subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much. Um, and many blessings. Happy Good Friday. Uh, and most of all, I'm wishing everyone a happy Easter uh, for those of you that uh, are going to celebrate Easter or observe it as a holiday. So thank you so much and blessings to you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a psychic reading today on Julian Assange. Uh, I may have mispronounced his last name. I hope I pronounced it right. Uh, let me know in the comments section below. Um, and this is someone that I'm going to give you the backstory for those of you that are not familiar with politics or um, with, you know, um, people that are internationally known because Julian Assange is not American. He's a, an Australian and uh, he was born in Australia and um, he has a background as in journalism and uh, with this uh, website called WikiLeaks for those of you that are not uh, aware of it during the 2016 presidential campaign, um, you know, all during that time frame, there were documents or emails that were leaked, um, you know, from the Hillary Clinton campaign and the Trump campaign. There was a lot of things that were leaked out, and um, there's been speculation that he has colluded or has um, worked with the Russian hacking hackers or the Russian government, Julian Assange, that is, um, to retrieve information um, that influenced the, you know, the political campaign or the election in 2016, etc. So I'm here to give you what I get from psychic perspective and my insight here on this man. Um, who he is, what is, are his intentions. You know, anyone uh, can have different intentions on Julian. I, What I see and on the soul levels that he is a good man, he's a good person, and um, I don't see darkness in his soul. I don't know if any of you see that. I don't see that. Um, I do feel like he's very much out to kind of make the world a better place, and even though that's kind of hard to believe with, you know, with the things that have been taken place because he was the i believe the director of wikileaks um so you know it's kind of hard to to say you know uh, for or to for people to see that uh, on him especially because this has become so political in nature um but i'm not here to talk about politics i'm here to talk about julian um and kind of give a little bit of insight to the questions that have been asked to me by viewers etc so a lot of people want to know first and foremost and i'm going to just dive in um whether or not he worked with the russian government and what i get from a spiritual perspective is that he did not he has not lied about that but there's going to be things that come out in the media things that you know are falsely um concoctured to destroy his reputation and provide his quote unquote evidence but it's not what it is what it's appearing to be um how wikileaks would have gotten a lot of this information is that there is a black market out there um full of information and things that can be sold now i feel like that the leaks actually came from someone in the government who was a you know a high official or in that ranking and sold it in the black market and what is a black market the black market is basically um, it's, you know, I believe it's like websites and networks that, um, don't even have to be on certain websites, but there are certain like hosting sites, et cetera, that you can go on to. I've never personally been in, on the black market, so I can't tell you what exactly that is, but from Spirit's perspective, that's how they explain it to me. So, um, basically it's like a secret operation, you know, it's not legal at all. Um, and what I feel is like someone sold a couple of people, uh, got together and had this great idea to go ahead and sell it on the black web. And for some reason or another, those documents got sent to WikiLeaks because they knew that the mass following that WikiLeaks has and the president, the presidents, you know, the, um, not the presidents, but the, um, the, the platform that it has and the followers and the uh, amount of you know people that were aware of wikileaks when it released this now should have wikileaks released this you know um that is up for debate you know i feel like in many ways if it was a secret documents that 
you know, you're facing a lot of legalities when you are releasing things that are um, secrets, you know, or that are confidential and that are properties of the U.S. government. So um, Julian and his team were very brave to release this information, but I really feel like it it wasn't something he was really thinking at the time, you know, that was going to come back and haunt him uh, in many ways. But what I see for him now is that he, um, oh, and let me cover this because I know this is a pressing question. A lot of people want to know whether or not he really had, you know, sexually abused someone. And I get that's just a lie as well um, when I get into the soul. He's not that type of person um, from what I can see. But Again, everyone is entitled for their own opinion and their own insights and what they get. But the fact of the matter is that you can tell um, from him is that he's a very clear person, very um, concise. But he has been changed over time. His soul has evolved and I feel like he's being suppressed. And there's a lot more things that he knows and that he could say, but he knows that his life runs at a risk um, if he does say it. Um, so what I get right now is that there's concern about money so and again i don't know what his money is like if he is really um you know if he has a lot of money or he saved it up but i feel like he's his mind is on money right now as well and his freedom and um for those of you that don't know he was uh, he was granted asylum in ecuador uh after charges you know were dropped and whatnot whatever the situation was in in the uk however that worked and he was granted uh asylum by ecuador and then that asylum was re withdrawn recently so there's a lot of key players that want him behind bars to suppress the truth and to get him out of the way um i do feel like this is why um you know people may not agree with me because again you you a lot of y'all are seeing things that are in the media, but what I get from the spiritual perspective is that he's trying to be silent. So um, this is why they had to revoke the um, the asylum uh, that he was granted by Ecuador. And I feel like all of this is, is um, by key players that are very important from the U.S. Um, and also in other other countries as well, um, because I feel like WikiLeaks also has information not just about the U.S. government but also about Russia and other people. So now it's like everyone is offering his head up to kind of, um, you know, suppress and stop any more of this information coming through. Um, there was speculation that he had been uh, cloned and he had uh, died and that he is not the same person and that there was a dead man's switch or something about that earlier on um like in 2016 around the time of the campaign and everything that if he was to pass that you know that there was going to be a switch activated and all this information that was you know hidden was going to be released um i do feel like there is some validity to that i do feel like there's other people that maybe aren't shall re remain nameless but that work with julian and that have this information um i don't feel like he's the only person and wikileaks is not the only entity or people that have a lot of this um secret information or um that has been illegally um you know uh confiscated or or disseminated is the better word uh to use here but um, I do get that right now he is in a lot, his, his, he's not in a good place mentally. I feel he feels very drained, very tired of all of this. He wants it to stop, but um, he has a lot of, uh, a lot of patience that is going to be needed because I feel like the next two to three years from now, um, his life is at, at a risk. I mean, he's at a risk for people to um, kind of silence him for good. I feel like, you know, I'm not saying that necessarily kill him, but, um, definitely, you know, there are people that want him behind bars so that he cannot go out. Um, and he cannot, you know, function in the normal ways that he used to. So again, there's a lot of le legalities and legal issues that are facing him and it's far from over. Um, and I feel like they're going for a maximum type of, you know, um, sentence or kind of, a. I don't know, you know, it's just, it's so complex and so many people involved in all of this and like i said it's a lot of powerful people that are now fearful that all this information and some of them are seeking um retribution or they're seeking some kind of revenge from uh what julian 
um, did, which is not just Julian, it's WikiLeaks. And it wasn't just WikiLeaks. It's a group of people that disseminated all of this information through a black market type of source. Um, so in very much ways, it's like he doesn't know what his future holds ahead of him. Um, it's very bleak right now what i feel like it's very bleak for him um and it's not a good time but there is somebody else that is has julian's back and that's odd you know that i would say this in a reading but there's a man that stands very powerful i don't know if he's a billionaire or he is like arabian um but there is someone that is i feel like it's middle eastern almost like maybe saudi arabia not saudi arabia maybe dubai there's a guy that is very powerful and very interested in what Julian has to say. And I feel like, you know, even though Julian has a lot of this that's looming over him, there is this man that is working with Julian. And he's a very powerful, very powerful man, very rich. And um, yeah, we're going to see a lot of it unfold. I do feel like there is going to be a brief period where he may get out of jail or prison, whatever you want to call that, that he's in. And he's going to kind of be with this man to kind of um, come up with a plan to kind of uh, get away from all of this and drop those charges so he can have his freedom again. So I don't feel like he's going to necessarily be in prison for years but I do feel like if he does get out and some of these charges are still faced and he's faced with, you know, financial fees and whatever, there is someone that is very strong that is has his eye on Julian. And it's not in a negative way to take him out or anything like that, but rather to help him. And I also feel like there is another um, person that is very spiritual. This could be like a... <sighs> How, do I, how should I say this so it makes sense? Like people would say, well, why is he working with a high level witch? Or why would he be working with someone that is like a, a witch in many ways? But I come across someone that is a female that is, mm, I want to say in her 30s or 40s. And she's very um, intuitive. I feel like she's a psychic empath, but also witchy. And um, there's nothing wrong with witches. Um, I'm a white witch. And there's a lot of people that, you know, that um, use magic for the good. He has some kind of spiritual protection around him, and I really feel like there is someone that is a female witch, and she is, uh, I want to say she's from Irish descent, and she is like a seer. She has strong psychic abilities, don't get me wrong. She, she is a clairvoyant as well. So she is someone that is kind of, um, I don't know if, if it she's working directly with Julian or one of his family members or somebody of his friends that knows knows him or even with this rich man but what is coming across is there's someone that is very intuitive and that has abilities that um that are not she's not really like well known in the world but she has abilities and there's a lot of believe it or not in Europe European countries and um even in Russia and a lot of these places even in Australia that you know they're not well known but they are very strong and powerful psychics and um, clairvoyance and um, a lot of people listening well why would he need that you know why would he need that well I mean we, people are starting to wake up to the fact that there are people out there that have spiritual abilities that are the real deal and um, a lot of the celebrities today have resident psychics that they work with uh, completely for their career for advice spiritual advice in European countries it's not any you know it's not any different and i feel like he has somebody on his team um that's working directly or indirectly but they are on his team and are giving him future insights and kind of giving him the heads up as to what is going on um or what is going to be the outcome but he has some spiritual work that is around him because i see a lot of spiritual protection around julian and um so again, there's people of power that are very invested in Julian because you would say, well, why would a rich man be in, interested in helping Julian at this point? Well, because you have to understand it, money is power and money revolves. And if people that are in power like this person that I feel like is a very millionaire or billionaire type of person, um, they want to have information about you know different governments or um not governments not not just governments but like organizations and who the government may tax or who they may ship goods to because if they are like business people it's you know when it comes down to it trump is a businessman that's his background and you know um i don't know about vladimir uh, putin but you know um 
like Trump, he is very businesslike. So uh, I feel like this other person is very much it's all about the money for them, you know. So, again, uh, that's what is coming from spirit, that there is this person that is very invested. Um there's also somebody i feel like he has developed a relationship with a female um julian that is and i feel like she is young um but i feel like um he is protecting her and she there's these thoughts and communication that's going back and forth um maybe through letters i i don't know at the at this point but there is somebody that he is invested in um that he really does love and that he's protecting as well um and I feel like there is some kind of future for Julian. Uh, but again, he, there's a lot of danger that still awaits him. And, um, you know, he is protected for now. But again, there there are going to be people that want to take him out. And what I mean by taking out, I don't want that to be misconstrued as like someone, you know, killing him. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about taking him out, maybe like, you know, having a false accusations or other people falsely accuse him um and you know uh keep him behind bars for a certain amount of time uh and maybe there you know try to hurt him in some kind of way it's very possible but I, again i do feel like a lot of this is going to dissipate and if he does serve any time it's going to be very limited because i see very strong a strong powerful man that is very invested in julian and what julian knows and like i said julian has a lot more dirt on other people and I, I hate to use the word dirt but that's what comes what it comes across like there's a lot of more information that is going to be um disseminated and i feel like people have threatened him if he does this you know he's runs the risk of you know facing more uh legalities and stuff like that but he also says you know i feel like he's gotten to the point to kind of tell him you know if you do this to me well i'm going to release this information so it's like he has information and the other people have you know their intentions to kind of stop him or suppress him but at the same time they know that they run the risk of all of this information like kind of exploding and just being released um and so there's a lot of fear i feel like a lot of fear behind all of this it's like it's it, it gives me anxiety just doing this reading is giving me anxiety a uh, very massive anxiety because again that's the kind of vibration that these powerful people you know people that um are involved in all of this and when i come to julian you know and um and when i'm talking about him and tuning in to his soul um he is a very powerful person and you know he doesn't have to be powerful by being rich but the fact that he is very influential and he has this platform and now he's like a celebrity because he's well known throughout the world um you know there's this this uh anxiety that i feel from him and around him and i feel like anxious like he's not safe and like nothing is 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 good you know right now it's like he feels this dark cloud looming over him so again um you know i wish julian the best and the best thing i can tell you know and say is that i hope that he you know considers what in the future what he publishes on uh or what you know wikileaks whoever's taken over or whoever will take over in the future or this is not just for wikileaks but anyone out there um to be sure you know if you're getting things off of the black market it's illegal and um people do it all the time for cosmetics and you know all kinds of things so but be careful um and try to do it the legal way and if anything you know um don't go against the government because again um even though it's it's you know it's um some people are brave to do this it's scary because again you are going to face consequences when you go up against the government because again um there are certain things that are never <laughs> you would be surprised how many secrets the government has not just the u.s government but all different types of governments in the, around the world european you know uh the uk uh, russia etc there's just they're powerful entities you know powerful organizations and you face a lot of uh problems um down the road um when you have that kind of information even though it is powerful and it is 
in some ways I feel like Julian feels that he did a service to humanity by releasing a lot of this out into the world to kind of expose the truth but at the same time it's like open up Pandora's box and you release all these bad things into the world um, and it's only you know going to come back to you in some kind of way karmically speaking so karmically speaking he does have some some bad juju that has come his way but at the same time he has a lot of spiritual protection and i know that that probably won't make sense to a lot of people but it's like there is some balance here and some counteracting so now i feel like he is in a damage control type of mode and all of this has changed his life forever like i don't feel like he's ever going to if he if it, it is true to what I'm saying, what Spirit is showing me, and that he does get out and eventually has freedom, he's never going to have a life where he's going to be, you know, um, feeling safe. Uh, there's always going to be someone that is maybe looking out for him. Um, I don't feel like he would come to the U.S. government or the U.S. soil without feeling like, you know, um, that in, at any moment someone could try to take him out. Again, fear. There's a lot of anxiety around all of this. So, um, this is the psychic insights that I, I got in the psychic reading for uh, Julian Assange. And I want to thank everyone for tuning in. If you did like this reading, please give it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to, um, uh, if you would like to book a private psychic reading with me, you can go to my website. It's www.raymondguzman.net forward slash shop. Uh, also, be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Psychic Medium Ray. And um, for those of you, I will be making a uh, post on my community tab, but on Friday, uh, April 26, I am teaming up with another international psychic medium. His name is Seth Browder, and um, together we're going to be doing uh, this event called Spiritual or Spirit Alchemy Alchemist, and uh, basically it's a metaphysical discussion. So we won't be doing any readings live, but we are going to team up live on Instagram, and we're going to be talking about different spiritual topics. Uh, it's going to be at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time, 1 p.m. Mountains Time, M Mountain Standard Time. It's going to be uh, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here in the U.S. and um, at 12 p.m. Pacific Time for um, the West Coast. So be sure to um, mark that on your calendars. April 26 again, we, I will be live on Instagram at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. So blessings and love and light um, and have an amazing day or night wherever you are in the world. Thank you.